Well, I'm going on an exciting mission without Carrie today because she has to edit. Very sad. I'm in the editing dungeon. But he's going on a mission that I'm not that, like, upset to be missing out on. It's way more up his alley. So he's excited. We're going to see the USS Lexington. What? <laughs> the new aircraft carrier Lexington, the U.S. Navy passes on the fighting traditions of the old. Sailor heroes who served in her gallant namesake are guests of honor as the sponsor says, I christen the Lexington. And the new ship is sent down the ways by the same woman who christened the old Lexington 17 years ago. A full 12 months ahead of schedule, the mighty carrier speeds on her way to join the fleet. made it to the Lexington. It's right behind you guys. It's beautiful. Small. I wouldn't try to land a, I wouldn't try to land a remote control airplane on that little thing. Scary, but I wanted to touch a uh, base on something. So this is, uh, I don't know if this is the anchor off of this ship or not. Probably is 1940 U.S. Navy. And I want to show you something. 30,050 pounds. That is 30 pounds lighter than my school bus. Our school bus weighed in at 30,080 pounds. Can you imagine? That's crazy. I don't know what this is called, but this is where they can load from shore directly onto the ship. And that folds back up into the ship. So they can load their aircraft and stuff. Gaping. So I guess the ship was hit in World War II by a kamikaze pilot, and it shows it getting hit right there, which is right where that little Japanese flag is right there. And that's where the kamikaze hit. Important to note, bring money. <laughs> so it turns out, this is the ship's elevator. So all the planes would be stored down here, in the hang inside uh, hangar, and then they'd roll them out on deck right here, onto this, and then take it up to the deck so they get the new aircraft up on the deck. It's the Dauntless dive bomber. This actually repelled the uh, one of the key uh, bombers that repelled the Japanese attack on Midway. Seems like just like this is somebody's daily routine for years and years and years out here. You guys ever wonder the guys on deck, they have different color little vests and hats. And this is what it is. Those that lost their life. Actual burials at sea during World War II. This is the Avenger torpedo bomber. It's a later bomber used during World War II. Uh, Lieutenant George Bush flew one of these in World War II. The original Jeep before any plastic was introduced. Going up the forecastle. 
spell it forecastle. <laughs> Guys were charging up and down these little passageways during World War II to get to their battle stations and stuff. Well, officer's quarters here. Male officer bathroom, head. We're right up in the very bow of the ship up here. Look, these doors are enough to get your head rattled. Oh, look at this. We're in the anchor room. With the anchor hardware, anyway. Just give you some perspective here. Anchor chain. That's a beast. Look at this little dude at. Had to put those on the birthing ropes to keep the uh, all the uh, rats from getting on board. This is probably two-handed. I'm risking my life to get you guys this video. Total number of casualties, 222. I like to see a copy. Hey, Mr. Bridge! Thing they added their torpedoes before they bombed us. Those looks like it made out of like a two by twelve, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, keep the things from going down too deep. That's right. We're on the bridge of the USS Lexington up here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. Like you got to be taller to see down on deck. You got to stand right up on it. But there's the flight deck and the giant rear view mirror right there. We haven't been on the flight deck. We bypassed it for the historic bridge. I wonder what this place is called. I keep forgetting. Somebody in the comments, tell me what this section is. Flight deck. All right, here's a little piece of history for you. This is the uh, F-14 Tomcat using the filming of Top Gun. This one here just happens to be Goose and Maverick's plane. How cool is that? If you don't know what Top Gun is, then you better fix that. We're out here walking. We have a slight list, obviously. Very cool, man. CV-16. I'll give you all the deets on CV-16, all right? The USS Lexington, CV-16, was originally to be named the USS Cabot, but while under construction, the CV-2, USS Lexington, was sunk in the Battle of the Coral Sea. The War Department decided to name this carrier the USS Lexington, making it the fifth in the line of U.S. ships with that name. The ship was launched on the 17th of February, 1943. During World War II, the carrier participated in nearly every major operation in the Pacific Theater and spent a total of 21 months in combat. Her planes destroyed 372 enemy aircraft in the air and 475 more on the ground. She sank or destroyed 300,000 tons of enemy cargo and damaged an additional 600,000 tons. The ship's guns shot down 15 planes and assisted in downing five more. Most naval vessels were painted in a dazzle camouflage, a complex pattern of geometric shapes and contrasting colors. But the USS Lexington was commissioned for battle before it could be painted, so it appears more blue. During these campaigns, the Japanese nicknamed the USS Lexington the Blue Ghost, due to being reported sunk no less than four times by the infamous Tokyo Rose. The USS Lexington was also used extensively in the filming of the 2001 blockbuster movie Pearl Harbor as both a Japanese ship and as the USS Hornet. During the filming of the Doolittle raid sequence, no less than four B-25 bombers were actually launched from the deck of the Lexington 
and producer Michael Bay was overheard saying, this is for you, Corpus Christi. The USS Lexington was decommissioned the 8th of November, 1991, and resides as a museum ship on Corpus Christi Bay in Corpus Christi, Texas. Jen's walking the plank. If you throw up, Jen, I'll capture it on film. Oh You're two-handing this, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a little unnerving. <laughs> you gotta go by yourself. Did you get me, babe? She won't go there. Uh, my heart is beating a million miles a minute. You take all this weight. Oh my god. Yeah. There it is, the bow of the <laughs> ship right there. God. We looked through these portholes earlier when we were uh, inside the ship. We looked out whether you could see that. I think it was that portal right there that shows the. Uh, that it comes off. out, yeah. Almost makes you want to jump off, doesn't it? The entire mount crew was at risk of an explosive fiery death. Even so, they were highly disciplined and trained warriors who could load and fire the guns every three to four seconds, 15 to 20 rounds per minute during battle action, lasting several minutes. Imagine, if you will, your 17 or 18 year old sailor reporting for duty on the horizon. Your assignment, the five years gun now. Sounds exciting, then all hell breaks loose. Think of the election team. It was awesome. I I have a new appreciation for Navy guys. Those Army guys give a lot of shit, but they, uh, what they go through and what they had to do. Yep. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Jen, what did you think? I thought it was awesome. I uh, love the Pearl Harbor story, what they had to go through, and how cool it was. How I don't know. Just there was a lot of people that came together and brought that whole thing. Rising above. Yep. Yeah. Rising that above. That was pretty. That was pretty exciting. What had to do to, to protect freedom. It was That's a little right. cringeworthy a couple times. A little claustrophobic, but it's, a, it's all good. I too feel the same way these guys do. It's a beautiful ship. Um, really, it's just kind of neat to see. Like you know, we're just inside of a piece of history that that saw combat a lot of stuff and uh, they, uh, you know those passages just have, have passages in there have ghosts of, of the people that served on this ship and uh, flew off this ship so uh, gotta give you guys credit Navy you guys do all right appreciate your big stick out there
What are you doing, Skylar? I think it's a black jumbo red jump. I'm rolling in this big fish. You're rolling a big one? Uh-huh. Skylar is catching more fish than me today because he's a beast.